Please be seated. I too would like to uh, add my own uh, sympathies and uh, prayers uh, to you, Shirley, and your family uh, on the passing of your husband, Paul. He is in the arms of the Savior. What beautiful arms to be in. And as the song goes, bring him home, bring him home. Where there is peace, bring him home. If anyone in this church knows the favor of God, it certainly would be me. For for 14 minutes of my human life, I was deceased, without heart, without a heartbeat. And the loving hands of my wife placed upon my chest, applying CPR for more than 14 minutes until the first responders arrived. Do I have a favorite person in my life? Yes, I do. I asked my staff at the courthouse, what should I give my wife at Christmas, they said everything. We all have our favorites, and for whatever reason, we all have our favorites. My wife certainly was the favor of God's hands on my life. Even the doctor quietly said to me, I don't say this very loudly, but you are alive today because of a miracle. God's favor was on your life. My friends, we all have our favorites. God has his favorites. We are his favorites. We are God's children, sons and daughters. When we grew up, we established favorites. We established what our favorite foods are, what our favorite drinks are, as we got older, favorite places we like to eat, the music we like to listen to, the books we read, the place to travel. We we have favorite singers and actors. And even in, in my family with four brothers, we knew and we would talk about how one person was a favorite over the other. In school, people talked about teacher's pet and favorites. But today, we celebrate the reality that we are all God's favorites. That God has chosen us. As he has chosen his son, who says, my favor rests upon you. God approves of his son. Today, we will be celebrating the fact that our little sister, Kalani, will be recognized as God's favorite. God's favorite will rest upon her as God's favor rested upon us at baptism. There are some that say baptism is merely a recognition of God's favor and God's presence in the gift of this child. And so, my dear friends, Today we are celebrating the fact that grace is already here. Favor is already here. God's favor is with us. No matter what we are going through, God's favor is with us. But it's more than just believing his favor. We need to declare his favor every day. We need to declare God's favor over our challenges over our dreams, over our illness, our hurts, our hopes. When we declare his favor, God's grace is activated. God's grace is activated. His grace is of wholeness, abundance, and healing. God is moved by our faith. Because when we declare his favor, 
the scriptures tell us God shows up. Praise, as I've said this before, when you complain, you remain. Complainers hang out together. They do. Go to St. Timothy of Hortons, the favorite church of Canadians. That's where they all hang out. They sit around and complain all day over their coffee. It's kind of liturgical. They break bread and they, have their, they sip from the cup. They share the news and they leave and come back in peace and come back the next day. They do it over and over again. My friends, we are invited to be people of praise, even in the pits of our lives. We're called to be those who are willing to declare God's grace. As my mother used to say, God is always fighting our battles. God is the night shift worker. God is making a way when we don't see a way. Because God is bigger than our troubles. Bigger than our cancers. Bigger than our brokenness. Bigger than our grief. Bigger than our, our addictions. God is grace. And what we celebrate in this little child today is that God's favor rests upon her and her family. My friends, everyone makes resolutions at this time. I would pray that you and I would remember the importance of declaring God's favor over everything. God, I may not see a way right now in my illness. The medical report doesn't look good. But I declare your favor because you have the last say. It is your word. It is your way. When we do this, when we say, Lord, I declare your favor over my children. I declare your favor over my problems, my burdens, that job that I've been trying to get. I, I declare your favor over it, Lord. When we do that, we turn our worries to worship. We're not complaining, we're praising. And we're praised, we're raised. Complain, we remain. And when we do that, we turn our worries to worship, we turn our burdens to blessings. For when you invite God's favor, you ignite the power of God's presence. God always gives his best to those who leave the choice with him. Let me repeat that again. God always gives his best, his favor, to those who have, leave the choice with him. Today, we ask God to favor our choices. Favor the family who is making the choice to bring this child before this community. For they will become the favor of God to this child. They will become the windows of God's grace to this child. And so shortly, we will renew our baptismal promises with the family as they stand, as they stand for their child. And they want their child to receive God's favor, God's blessing. They are saying, we know that this child is God's favorite. Today we celebrate the fact that Kalani is not a child of this world, but she is a child of God. One of the most powerful lines my mother ever gave me before she died. She died very young. She said, remember this, and I think this speaks to all of us, especially today in our grief. A very simple line. I love you. You are mine. That's what God says to us today. Whatever we're going through. I love you. You are mine. That's what baptism is about. Celebrating that this child is God's child. May Jesus Christ be praised. Amen.